fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Another episode of In Godfrey We Trust. How y'all feeling out there? It's your man Godfrey in the building. You know what I'm saying? Another episode of Ah! In Godfrey We Trust. You know how we do. I never take my episodes for granted. Always happy when I can come in here. Happy and healthy. You know what I'm saying? Feeling good, man. You don't understand. This podcast game is, is for real. It's the real deal. Even though I say that a lot of people should not be doing podcasts. You give some of these bum-ass fucking <laughs> Negroes a fucking microphone, they don't shut the fuck up, and they talking about bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> People are like, you got a lot of nerve. I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying. It's like every knucklehead has a fucking podcast. They come in with a list of pre-written jokes that they have ready to. Like- yeah. And it's like, and it's a lot of fucking ratchet motherfuckers got podcast. Uh, if a nigga going to give me money, yo, I don't know. I, I got to have good pussy, about it. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. 10 million views. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> We be trying to talk about sensible shit. We try our best to make it, you know, a variety of things. I mean, look at yesterday's episode. Yesterday's episode. Hey, man, we had a special edition yesterday about it was about Israel and the Palestinian the the the, the situation that's going on. Mm-hmm. We had my um, um, Nina Faruka. We had um, um, Car- um, Karen Margolis. We had um, Mir- um, John- Miran Kagani, Jonathan Randall, Jonathan Randall, and they were they was good. we we kind of stayed neutral. Yeah, the, we we the black people way, stayed neutral. We tipped we all the way right through. That we moment. let the Middle Eastern people go at it. How Caucasian of us. It How, was. <laughs> the caucasity <laughs> to just it, set it off and it, step back. It, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I'm glad we did it. I can't wait to see some of the clips. We did about two and a half hours yesterday wow. on the whole situation. You know, and I said when I first started that whole thing, I said, first of all, I want to let y'all know. Both of y'all don't respect black people, so whatever. Uh, whenever this, when this, when the smoke clears, y'all gonna be right back to call this niggas. So, anyway, <laughs> if there's one thing they can unite over, yeah, they'd be like, "Oh, black people, no!" <laughs> That's how you're gonna get peace in the Middle East. Yeah, right. Who do we hate more? Black people. Right, you know, just a few miles west, there's a ton of them. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. That's funny, but uh, uh, you know, it was. It, I hope it comes out really good because you know we, as performers, you know we. I want to pr- try to say something because people say, like, "What are you going to say about that?" First of all, I don't know enough about that to be right. to, to be dipping my fucking hands in it. I'm not pro anything. I'm pro humanity. I'm pro no violence, not killing women and children, innocent people. That's bullshit. I think the higher ups are the fuck boys and the fuck girls that are up there. The higher ups of both countries. You know, it's no different in America, the politicians and the greedy sons of bitches that don't give a fuck about the people below them. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. I, I'm not, you know, my Israeli friends are like, so which side are what you do thinking? You, what do you, I'm what like, do you think is yeah, I'm happening? Like, well, you're, I'm yeah. like, you, owe the com- you own the comedy club, so I'm not going to say a <laughs> goddamn thing. And the Palestinians like, so. My friend. <laughs> what friend? <laughs> Both of you motherfuckers eat hummus. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yo, so I, 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 um, that was a really, really good episode. Um, so look forward to that. And I want to say thank you um, for subscribing to In Godfrey We Trust on the Gas Digital Network. Also on YouTube, please press the subscribe button on the Gas Digital Network and Godfrey We Trust on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Closing in on 400,000 subscribers. It's a slow drip, but y'all... I, I, hey man, in the streets, people love the podcast and all. I go, did you did you subscribe, motherfucker? Why are you just watching us subscribing? I don't get it, you know. And Gas Digital with the promo code Godfrey thirty, you get uh, thirty days for free. You know what I'm saying? Thirty days for free. So that's important that you subscribe. Say, with uh, the Vishnu Uh-oh. episode doing a little well, we got a bit of a bump on YouTube. I don't know if oh, you noticed. Vishnu, that thing went one point eight million. That's yeah, some, some crazy. Yeah. And then not only that, people are sharing it. DL Hughley shared it. Like yeah, DL shared it. So it's like, 
And when, that's the best way to support. The when show, Indian Jerry, people, people share that. something, that's a billion motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, so you're you're up to three hundred and seventy three thousand. Oh! Nice job. Oh, 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 bump. Whoa, Vishnu! I want to thank the Indian people for <laughs> black, Indian people are black people. Black, they're the black. We are brown. Same, same, brother. Same. same brother. Thank you for spreading. I they're bro. spreading. Make bro, bro. Drink is spreading for the, the subscribers coming to four hundred thousand. We're going to help you, brother. We're going to fucking help you. Thank you. That was, and we're gonna bring Vishnu back because I got someone else that wants to fucking argue with his ass and I and Vishnu will come back Vishnu wants Vishnu it. can't he, wait he to bring his Indian history comment. that he, motherfucker uh, he, he, he got past me the last time he yeah, yeah he got I past you I was in Mexico. And he's waiting for, um, the, this is like uh, Ali Frazier. Oh, yeah. He's waiting to get your ass yeah, again. He can't fuck And he calls me, he goes, bro, I want to I want to talk to Dante again, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, I want to talk to Dante because he's not understanding Indian. Fuck, I want to get this guy. I fuck that shit. <laughs> he said, I got under, I got him good. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's why he, I, he was here running ragged, talking reckless. But we won't have a spelling beat, though, because he will beat <laughs> he us. Oh. Fuck me up. <laughs> but Vishnu Baka holding it down. Yo, and I want to say um this week I'm uh, hey, is the ch live chats on? I'm going to say whoever's in Cleveland, if they say they're in Cleveland, let me know if you see Cleveland. Cleveland, if you're in, if you're in the chats, Cleveland say we're here because I'm coming to you this Friday and Saturday, Cleveland Improv. So you motherfuckers better show up in Cleveland Improv. If you ain't got the skills, you're going to get they gonna eat your ass alive because that is a grumpy ass city. And um, uh, anytime it's uh, uh, any t any city that used to have factories, you gonna have <laughs> grumpy ass Negroes. Uh, Baltimore, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh, and they're all close to each other, and they're all rivals in football. Go figure. But I'm letting you know, I love Cleveland Improv because I come in and I'll be beating their asses up. Cause I'm from the Midwest, bitch. If I'm from Chicago, I win. <laughs> Check out the T-shirt. Y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all ain't ready for that George Carlin shit, right? Y'all be like, your T-shirt game is disgusting. I go, I know you can't fuck with me. Come on, man. And from what I grew up on, I have so many ideas for T-shirts. You cannot fuck with me. Boom. So, and you know, it's always a pleasure when I always bring a guest on here. And I'm sure that we, that's what we do. We show, we'll show the guests and not introduce shit. We'll be like, who the fuck? Who the fuck is that? But they know who it is, you know. And you know, it's great. It's always great to bring this brother in here. This is my big brother. I got two big brothers in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's fantastic. One of the real ones, man. The one who always guided me, you know, taught me how to conduct myself with all kinds of shit. This is real facts, man. Got me to New York. I love to say that because people don't believe that. And I go, nah, he got me here mm. in New York. He always sounds like he's lying. He literally sounds like he's lying, but he's telling the fucking truth. Always been a truth sayer. You know what I'm saying? A wonderful, wonderful stand-up comedian, legendary motherfucker, writer, producer, philosopher, great father, by the way. Your kids are doing fantastic, yes, by the sir, way. Yes. The one and only, the one and only, T to the motherfucking K. <laughs> I love this shit. What's up, man? How you doing, player? Um, man, we have man. a super chat for TK. As you oh, God, <laughs> that's how you do it. Trey said, there ain't no way TK60, you must have hooked him up with Alex, talking that silly oh. man. I don't know what that is. Oh, 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 oh silly, Alex, silly Marin. Silly Marin. Yeah, silly silly Marin. Marin. <laughs> <laughs> the silly Marin. Because I got, I have one of the baddest healers on the planet, and I've been with him for 20 oh, years. Yeah, you so. told me about him. Yeah, yeah but I said... But TK started to take care of himself. He said, man, I got to start working out, getting back in shape. He's eating better. So this is ta-da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I always worked out good. I right. Mad, but, but what I did wrong, Diet. I was drinking that muscle milk every day. Oh, that shit is. I, I used to have that like shit. It's terrible. I it's was drinking terrible. muscle milk like it was water. <laughs> it, it was so good. Friends, good. I'm in the barbershop. They said, nigga, I thought you was working out. <laughs> but I looked, you know, like puffy. a lot of water was on yeah, me. Yeah. And when puffy. I look at stuff now, I'm like, wow. Yep. Where was my friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody told me. Yeah, Nobody told we me. We didn't know muscle milk. I thought was good stuff. Yeah, it tasted trash. good. It's tr and I looked trash. at the, the I looked sugar. at the ingredients and I talked to one of my. He's like, man, don't be. Dr that's some nasty yeah, shit. Yeah, I was drinking that. Yo. Yeah, that's no good. You know, it took six years to get that weight off. 
Yeah, sometimes it's bees like that, but yeah. it was a slow process. A slow process. And now you're there. Yeah, now I'm there. Because the habit is in. Yes. Your lifestyle is different. Yes. What were you going to say? I was going to say, we talk about the Vishnu bump. Yes. Don't forget the TK bump. TK shit the, went the a clip, million the, something. It went five million. Five million. Five point six. Five point six. And I believe million. the full episodes both are in like the top ten episodes all time. Yeah, TK. Wow. Both they, my episodes. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a two part. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We had a, we had a yeah. five million. That's what I'm talking about. It was like five. That's five point six million. Five. Yeah, it's like the third most viewed clip all time. Yeah. Wow. That's what I'm like, when is TK coming back? Well, I said when he he swoops in like a super. Yeah, he's like he's Batman. Like you know, the bat signal comes out. He yeah. goes, here, just go. I'm coming. And that's I'll, it. Yep. <laughs> that's exactly how I do it. Yo, I'm coming, fam. Right, I'm coming. Bong. I'm like, yo, he's coming. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and if I don't show up, you know, I went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he went to sleep. We'll catch him next time. Yeah, man. That's, um. so, so have you, okay, I got it. You know, you're 63. Okay, fine. But how do you feel in general? I feel amazing, yo. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, age is really just a number, isn't age it? Age is just a number, and I just love life, right? Mm -hmm. I love life. I love my accomplishments that I have accomplished. I'm doing a lot of things. Um, I go to bed like nine or ten. That's mute, beautiful. But Jeez. I get up like two a.m. Damn, what's wrong with you? And I can work from a chill from two. So you sleep about six hours, six. Yeah, and but you I'll take a, a nap somewhere during the day. That's that's. It's pretty yeah, good. Because I have so much to do. For like, you know how I many. I got stuff yeah. to do in Japan. Yeah. I got stuff to do in UK. Yeah. And I got to be on it. You know, you know, TK, TK, money situation. TK never talked like this before. He never talked about other countries. That's so true. He used to be like, I'll be in Jersey, then back to New York, then back to Jersey. Well, let's keep then I'll be in St. I'll be, Louis. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> I'll, he's being nice. I'll be locked up. <laughs> <laughs> I was locked up in. It was a time. It was a time he was traveling the world. Yes, and he would always take my calls. Yeah, oh, over yeah. David's like always, David, always. David would put. It was like him, Mike Epps. They was like my little brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I called collect, everybody was there waiting on TK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would pass the phone around. <laughs> so I'm like, God, what's up? He said, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to London, <laughs> Turkey, you know, Turkey. And it, how Egypt. I sound? Yeah, you're like, you're damn. Really damn, exactly. Damn. Damn, man. I just got to get my stuff together, yeah, man. Yeah, remember I say Ooh. that? Because he was like, God, for you corny. I go, no, you corny. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> You're corny. Yep. You're local. Yep, he sure <laughs> did. He used to say that to me. And believe it or not, it's amazing subconsciously how that inspired me in a sense, right? That's what's up. Because now that I travel all over the world, <sighs> I think of you all the time because... Yeah. That was my motivation. Yeah. I used to tell him, I said, God, I'm kind of jealous of you. So he was saying, so you have no kids. No. You, you, not single, but he was a, he was a yeah, player I, in yeah, a yeah, sense. Yeah. Traveling the world. Mm. And whenever we went somewhere, the women loved him. Mm. And I'm looking at him. You know, like a big brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm like, how y'all like this corny motherfucker? <laughs> 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 this nigga corny to the world. But they love oh, him. God, for a reason. Yeah, he was he's, he's innocent. You know, he's good looking. He was strong. Educated. Ed, edu Boom. Yeah, that's the thing that like, really charming liked. in yeah. a way that's annoying. Wonderful. Just, uh, one, the way and, he's smiling. And we've fucking, been friends. <laughs> fucking smiley teeth. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, hey, put been, the camera on me again. Yeah. And we've been friends <laughs> so long. And and, and, and and the great thing about it is yeah. people see us out of out, in another state. Yeah. He's there, I sneak in, yeah. and they see us connected. And yeah. he's like, yo, that, he put me on. Yeah. The yeah. look on their face. They, can, they cannot believe it. It's priceless. They can't believe why, it. Why do you think they don't? They because just you don't can't associate it. You just can't, can't, yeah. you can't see it happening. They associate like. They can associate a Mike Epps. Yeah. Yeah. They can associate. Yeah. They don't associate. They associate only like, yo, hey, yo, TK. But I'm like this. Right. You know, TK put me on, right? Yes. <laughs> he got me to New York City. That's right. He's That's like, right. And they go, what? I go, yep. That's yep. right. Got me my first managers. And rest in peace to David Kleeman, who yeah. was a Jewish man who was one of the most loving, loving. men I have ever yes. met in my life. Yes. Really? The when I tell he didn't play that racist, he, I'm, I'm no, being serious. So true. He really loved people. Like yes. he was a he was one of those rare. Right. His mother was like that. Yep, mom was love. Was a sex love. sex therapist. Yes, really. And 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 Jewish, but not to where he 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 hated other people. He loved yeah. people. Put it like so this: on. me and him was so tight. Yeah. That I got Godfrey to stay there. 
Yup. I got I Mike Epps to stay there. Wow. Yeah. I got J.J. Williams to stay there. J.J. Williams, uh, yes. Because I had a plan. Maya, Maya. Yeah, Maya. The Georgia. I had a... This Smoke Break is brought to you by YoDelta.com, the official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. I had a structure that I was doing, and they all... Came into it. It yeah. was David Klingman and Tommy Chestero. Tommy Chestero, yeah. Only Chestero, yeah. Only thing that they didn't see coming, I was going to jail a lot. Uh, <laughs> so it was like, yo, T, <laughs> listen, you got to fall back a little bit. You about to fuck this shit up for Godfrey. You about to get these something up commercials and shit. <laughs> you can't fuck up the bag. So I had to, like, lay low <laughs> and do my shit from a distance. Because I was about to fuck up the money. <laughs> and we was uh, and we were staying at 98 Riverside Drive, yes. right? Up really nice listen, building. Listen, make sure you explain where we were staying. No. Some fly shit. We we was in some fly. It, it was like old school shit. elevator guy, right. that oh, little cute. Door man. Yeah. I had them living like they was they was on a whole nother level. The the the, the apartment was overlooking the Hudson River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the um park the park was right we, there. We were and we were on Ooh. the I was sleeping on the couch. All of us yeah. were sleeping on the couch, and David was so, like, when I tell you he took care of us, he'd make food for us. He was a really good he dude, man. He understood my vision. Yeah. He understood. He he did everything for them. And little a, short, little question. white Jewish I man. Got a, I got a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you saying you was get, you was going to jail, fucking up, getting ready to fuck up the back. What was the thing that changed you that yeah. you was like, yeah. I'm, mm. I'm not going to jail? Good I, the, question. The, the last thing I did, and I'm embarrassed <laughs> to say, is when I did the shit with Puffy Combs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't know about. Oh, no, no, God. No, no, no. oh, homie. In, in 1998, it was a. I did something that was embarrassing. Oh boy. And when I went to court, it was a hold judge. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it was a. Um, it was a judge named Margaret. Okay. And I still see Margaret to this day. You still and, see her? Like in my head. Oh, <laughs> I was like, okay. And whenever since the 90s, whenever something came in my life to um, make me risk, uh -huh. whether it was fights, whether it was yeah. arguments, yeah. that woman would pop into my conscience. Okay. Wow. To under, to, to, see, we do a certain way on the streets. We talk everything we want to talk yeah. until you get in front of them people. Mm. Yeah. They move differently, brother. Yeah. They don't care about the personal beefs. They don't care about the arguments. None of that. None of that matters. You get in front of them, and then plus if your track record is bad, yeah. they bring all that up against you. And my track record was bad because that's the thing she used to always say. She wasn't care she didn't care about the other stuff that right. happened recently. Right. She would say It's a pattern. How the fuck do you get away with this other shit? See, that's the that's what gets them mad. Because mm -hmm. what they're saying is the other people didn't do their job. Right. He should have never made it to me. Oh. oh you understand know what I'm saying? So by her, by now I'm in front of her. Yeah. She t like your, your, your boat stops here, buddy. So I had to spend a lot of money to get the yeah. right attorneys, because I was had I had the wrong attorneys yeah. to deal with that. But everything fell in luck and went at now that I sit here with wisdom. And I talk about these bad things as embarrassing. Right. I'm real spiritual in, in my life now, right? Yeah. And I realized everything that I went through, it was um, the universe teaching me stuff. Yes. So now when I'm on my podcast and I'm doing my stand-up, I'm talking to you, talking to Godfrey, yeah. um, I can tell people things by experience. I can make better choices yeah. by experience. Because when I was younger, he'll tell you, I would do things first and then cry <laughs> afterward. I'm like, like well, then I don't care. But afterwards, <laughs> oh, oh my, my fucking God. God, what the fuck was I doing? And and and, and that's maturity. Yeah. And to all the young men, women. Yeah, yeah. Think about the consequences. But what what was the? Is there a thing that you could remember specifically, or was it just the no, whole? It was, pro her. was the whole process? Yeah, it was her. Yeah, yeah. And, and she didn't play. She was a Judge Judy before Judge Judy. Yeah. She would embarrass you in court. Put it like this. Um, I went yeah. to court. I'm going to tell you how she wasn't playing. My oh. attorney came late. Yeah. And I saw what she used to do to other people uh -huh. who came late. My attorney comes late. She throws me in the Rikers. Wow. True story. Wow. Throws you in the Rikers for how long? 30 days. <laughs> oh, my And she God. did it twice. Damn. Yeah, she ain't playing. 
And so, you and did you learn your lesson? You still didn't, did you? No, I still didn't learn my lesson. How I did you? I, wow. But but as you get older and you mm-hmm. and you understand the mistakes you make, yeah. And like even sitting here now, you know, you you you're embarrassed by it. But when they say you got to face your fears, yes, this is those situations. You face it and you deal with it, knowing that you is a a fuck up in a sense. But you can laugh at everybody because right. you made it. Like, yeah. dog, I'm on a whole nother level. Like, it's a it's a 360. Right. So oh, when, yeah. when people try to do certain things in my life that happened recently, we, I really think about you have no idea right. what you really are up against. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the universe and life has teaches you. Dog, you 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 president of the homeowners association. <laughs> you got a you got a copay. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm president of the homeowners association. You got a screen. I, you got I a change, screen door. I change sprinklers. You know what I'm saying? I'm out in the yard with a leaf blower. <laughs> I write up violations. You know what I'm saying? You complain about I complain, noise. I complain about noise. You have your little robe. Right, like, exactly. Right. You right. get your paper off. Man, the- ain't nothing like violations. Late motherfuckers. <laughs> Snitching on people. Exactly. The grass too high. You know, I, I take the ruler. <laughs> Your grass is, uh-uh. Half an inch. Half an inch, God damn it. Steve, take a picture of this. <laughs> We're going to talk about this in the meeting. Yeah. Oh, we create community. You do that? You do all that? Yeah, yeah. That's so good. I talk about it in my stand-up, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I create community events. You know, I got, I got all the signs. Up for Halloween. <laughs> you know what I'm I can't believe yeah. it's like this. But you better not knock on my door. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do the candy shit here. TK oh, says go words, to everybody else's TK shit. says words like mixer. Right. Go mixer. Ahead, right. Mixer. Yo, we have barbecues by the pool. <laughs> really? You know, I let them know when, you, when, the, when the pool. You know, I send the emails. <laughs> <laughs> Let pool open from 11 to 2 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Hilarious. Job. You're 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 a part of the yeah, committee, yeah. And, 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 and you I, show up to this right, stuff. And I have a scooter. <laughs> Dog, I put the helmet on. You got the helmet. See to the motherfucking K. Got to what I just did. Oh, oh man, you got to get them fixed. Ah, oh. you got to get them fixed. Slow, slow. I can't believe I did. Slow. this Why did you just? How did you just do that? I didn't know they was on the floor. Okay. Well, slow, put it, you slow. have a case for it? Oh, uh, yeah, I sure do, right there. Well, put them away. It's you got to get them out. fixed. I think Tom you are. Ford. Oh, I love Tom Ford. Yeah. I, I got Tom Ford shoes, you get man. Sneakers. I stepped on these motherfuckers. Tom Ford, Tom Ford sneakers, everybody. Tom Ford, Tom Ford, <laughs> yeah. Tom Ford. Oh, <laughs> dude, I just broke it. Yeah. Well, put it, just get it repaired. Go to the, you have to go to the glass. All right, hey, nothing? No, I'll Nothing? It. I'll get it fixed Monday. All right. Okay, let me leave. We have a here. couple of super chats if you want to. Yeah, let's go. Them. What's the super chat? We have then? two, both for TK. <laughs> yes. One okay. says, I love this podcast, guys. Keep up the great work. TK, can we get your skincare routine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your skincare? <laughs> and that's from Andy Tipco. My skin. Nobody care. asked you that when you got out of Rikers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Even though I was smooth. Um, what's my skincare? Just soap and water. I use um right. oxy, them pads. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, I use that. And you know what's the real secret to I think my um staying young? Mm. Old school Vaseline. Oh, petroleum jelly is like to me. it's like adamantium, bro. That's Yo. Bad. That's Listen to shit. me, yeah. for real. Vaseline. I put that bass because that reminds me of my mother. My, yep. Mm. In the 60s, you ain't go outside, yo. You had it's cold it out there. Vaseline or ponds. That yeah. ponds. That yeah. Vaseline was like a coating. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then you could put your you put your clothing over that. Yes. It was like ting ting. Yeah, these yeah, kids yeah. don't know nothing about that. They don't know that. nothing about that yeah. shit. We used to go to school with snow suits. Snow suits. Remember the snow suits? With, the, yeah. with, with the mittens. Yeah, with, with the, the mittens. mittens. Todd, yeah. Hanging. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. no, they had no idea. What? Yes. Dope, dope, dope. Oh yes. man, that's so. Listen, man. I, um, I, I, what are you gonna say? What's the other super chat? And then the other one is just uh, when you were talking about being in jail, TK. Someone said, "I am J Cool Rod." Says, "TK, your best story is being cold on Rikers Island." Ooh. Were you in cold? And, what do you mean? Yo, it took because it's cold. It was he free. heard it. So the first day I went through processing, and now you know I, I will go to court. You know how I used to dress back in the day. Yeah. Let me tell you how I used to dress. All right. <laughs> Slacks. Yeah. Sweater. Yeah. Beautiful tie. 
yeah. cashmere coat mm, okay. that wrapped. Okay. Yeah. Briefcase, gloves. You know what's embarrassing? What's that? When I go in court, they would say, Hello, counselor. <laughs> they thought I was an attorney. Wow. So when I signed my name, you know how embarrassed I was? Wow. So um, that time I got locked up, I had all that on. She threw me in court. Yeah. Dog, I had to sleep in them clothes because in the cell, it was, it was winter. Right. And the, they was, it was cold air coming in wow. that made it seem like it was 10 below zero. Yeah. No and blanket. All I said was, I'm, not, I'm dying tonight. It was it. It's over. I slept in them. I slept in those clothes. Yeah. When I woke up the next day, I, you have no idea how happy I was. But that's crazy. I even remember that story. Mm-hmm. But, I, yeah. It, it, what is it called? Recidivism. When you come back, they always say you'll be back. Yeah. What no, 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 were no. you? Would you? Did you get like? Even though you went to jail and you when you you went back to doing dumb shit, mm-hmm. was it exciting? Because some people get adrenaline off doing. No, no, no. What was it? What was that? My thing going back was, to doing. Um, I was just dumb. Okay. There's no other way around it. Right, right. right yeah, right. you can't you can't sugarcoat stupidness. Right. I was I was stupid. Yeah. Yeah, because I had money. Yeah. They 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 they, they, they wanted to put me in a psychiatric ward because they was like, <laughs> like Yo, you got everything. What's wrong? Yeah, with like you? What, what's wrong with you? This don't you know? Because they right. do a thorough search on you. Yeah, yeah. And they like, yeah, this don't make sense. Mm. Right. So I that's why I had to play it to the universe. I was I had to go through these things. Yeah. And it made me who I am today. That's what's up. And it, I live long a, enough here's, to here's achieve a que- here's a, This is a question, mm. right? So, I've never been arrested, mm-hmm. right? Which is amazing, right? Right. <laughs> right. But my my thing was I never watched my work. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Uh-huh. Like, so if I if I hit a dude, I, when the, when, ran. The, when the body was at ten o'clock, it didn't even hit the ground. When it was at ten o'clock, <laughs> I was in the cab already. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that's just superhero shit. <laughs> we talk about real shit here. Yeah, you're going to hold another level. No, I'm, I'm saying. No, he did. That's what he like, did. Like, right. I never yeah. stuck around. <laughs> Y'all mother, you know what I mean? I right. didn't, I didn't rah, rah. I was out. <laughs> right. Like, uh, you, it, bong, 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 bong. And then you, you got to describe to the cops, <laughs> this big nigga, he had 12 rings on. <laughs> this nigga had a bone in his ear. He was, he was they're like, nigga, no, nobody. But no, no, I want to no. make sure that we're clear that we're not glorifying No, crime, I'm not. Right? I'm not. No. Glorif- so to, to, listen to me. I'm on a whole nother level. He's, we he's, being, the FYI. He's, he's, being, <laughs> yes. he's being the housing associate. Yes, exactly. I'm president of the homeowners. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lose my title. He's like, guys, let's be careful right. that we're not right. showing this, violence. Right. So this time, I do not else. condone this. Right. It's you a know, different time, a I'll different be, place. Somebody might see this, and <laughs> I'm up for election in, in February. <laughs> <laughs> I love my title. <laughs> How did you get that title? How did you? you, know, you they sent forms. You run. have homes. You, you sent forms. They sent forms. Because he was so personal. And I'm like, boom, 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 boom. He was so personable. And, you know, to how did you get the votes? How did you get those votes? On the scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, yeah, I, and I don't have one of them cheap scooters. Right, you got the nice. One. I got the scooter that goes sixty miles an hour. Oh, that's yeah. that's that's a nice one. Yo, that's I'm yeah. flying through. Oh, you the You gotta have a helmet with that. Yeah, you gotta have yeah. a helmet. So I'm you, falling through the helmet. So this is Vegas. This is Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I, I, I take pride in it. Yeah, you, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So like, better, listen to me. I'm gonna say if you if you guys are listening, <laughs> you live to be sixty three. Successful, and you become president of the home. <laughs> you can check people's grass. Man, it's just I, like, I, it's, I, a, it's it, a different way of thinking in life. Is, right? it, is it a mixed environment there? Oh yeah, yeah, number yeah. white people, and they let you. <laughs> yeah, it's mixed. <laughs> no, it's not people. mixed. It's just it's, he's yeah, the mix. Yeah, number white people. TK's the mix. TK got president. Yeah, T president is the raisin president. in the milk. Yeah, me. I'm walking around. <laughs> the women love you. The women oh, love oh, oh, you. Oh, you know that because you're not sending the workers over immediately. <laughs> Mr. Kirkland, yes, can I help you? I'm just blah blah blah. We need assistance. Oh, let me send an email. Okay. <laughs> Even when I go through the supermarket and I'm shopping, I hear them talking. You know, some people like you know they see you. God, that's Godfrey the comedian. Yeah. Oh, not me. You know what they say? Home. That's TK, <laughs> the president of a home. home so, <laughs> <laughs> so when you have a meeting, you're sitting at the like the yeah the, on the on the, the, at the top and of the head. Are you like the microphone? Like um, who would like to speak right yeah, now? Yeah, and, and here's the thing. I come a little late. <laughs> Town hall. I come a little late you're on fun. my scooter. Oh, so when I pull up, I actually bring the scooter in. 
Wow. You apologize. Kick stand you apologize. And go up there and stop talking. Got a little <laughs> sister. Wow. And you and you have a little bench? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And talk. We can talk about the problem. <laughs> wow. The trees and you know, what? people have complaints. What 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 is the, this is so funny. What is the biggest complaint people have in your neighborhood? Um trees falling. Is it trees falling? Yeah, yeah trees and falling. And you get an arborist? Yes, I get to, you know, the people that come out. That's the, the arborist. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to throw that at you. Yeah. Now you remember say arborist. I we will get will the we'll arborist. Because those are tree experts. Yes, yep. Absolutely. Get, well, we will have the and arborist. I'm going to tell you about the arborist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you start get, buying trees, you understand you have – trees are expensive, bro. Well, People they, don't they, know that. They look they look like big-ass plants. Listen to what I'm telling you. Them trees, 10, 15 years, 15, 20,000. Really? Just easy or just more. To, just to have one? Just to have them planted and all that. Well, they last expensive. a long-ass time, yeah, though. Yeah, I mean, so 20,000. Yeah. So you, when, you, when you live in a nice neighborhood, it's, it's trees. Yeah. You don't pay attention to them because they're already there. Yeah. But now, but, one, but when you got to purchase stuff and replace stuff, do you know yeah. what type of trees you have? Are they oak? No. Are they no? I know birch? that they, you maybe they a, surround a white birch? the home birch, like an ash tree. No, I just like <laughs> trees to make it seem like my house is not there. <laughs> oh, okay. It gives me that Bel Air feeling. <laughs> Where you have trees. Yeah, with the trees you can't see and, my house. And 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 pruning them. Yeah, Pru two, three grand. You have to prune. And yes. every now and then, I go out in front of the lawn with the, you know, and and I actually went to Home Depot, mm -hmm. got the long holes, mm -hmm. and the thing that you wrap the holes. And mm -hmm. I get up early in the morning, sipping on coffee, maybe right. And yeah, then, <laughs> with the water, with the sprinklers, right. Ah, oh, it's the life. <laughs> <laughs> And you're single yeah. too, yeah, which oh, is fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no stress. See no. the sing, see no the stress. single life thing. We're all single guys. It's it's dope, man. I, I, you know, and I meet nice some nice women here, right. but I'm like, it's nice because I'm not around you a lot. Yeah, I think is that different. is that crazy? Well, when you're busy no. like we are. Yeah. You really subconsciously think about the woman. I don't want to do this to you because I'm so busy. Yeah. But I try to, like, on my Facebook and Instagram, I really try to give men game on how to treat women from hot towels to towel warmers to taking women out to eat, um, getting their hair done. You know, like, you know, you know, we can, you know, I, you know, all my friends, we grew up, we grew up hustlers. Yeah. So we paid for women cars and put them through school. <laughs> Today, kids, <sighs> did you say something like that? You a simp, you a sucker. It yeah. ain't going down. Like they looking at you like you're crazy. Yeah. But the love for the woman has truly changed. Like you don't see. You men. gotta see some of these women. The stuff, some of the I, shit they say I nowadays. Got, I, got, I sent you some videos. I got there, something Mike. to say about that. You, yeah. I don't. The fact that they talk about simping because you take care of a woman isn't that hilarious. The, the point is this. He just talked about a twenty thousand dollar tree. So if I'm spending twenty grand on me, I love me. It, you're not simping because you're elevating a woman to the level that you live. Right. Right. So it, it's not you're not you're not you're not helping her and doing for her because you want to because it's like you simping you you're doing it so I, so she likes me. You live at a certain quality of yes, life, yes. and you just wouldn't have anybody looking not, crazy. But yeah, like, that's so, why they need OGs like us, because yeah. that's not what they think. Yeah, they think we, you're supposed to impress the woman. Yeah, it's not. Oh, this is how I move. This is how I move. The young like, ladies, you just yeah. keep me company, or yeah. that's you see it. The way I live, is, I'm not impressing you. Yeah. No, this is how for me. I, how I move. Ex that's the difference. Yes. yes. That's the difference. So if I, if yeah. I, if I'm, yeah. you know what? What you call it has a nice lobster bisque. Yes. Why don't you come with me? Let's go. Yeah. Right. Not because I'm impressing you. This yeah. is what I eat. This, this is, is what how I eat. eat. This is what exactly. I eat. And, no, like, uh, and you know that even when we go eat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We go where we, we go. go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. TK, TK right. said I'm coming and I was like, yo, let's. Let's grab a still like we right. were gonna grab, but he he got busy. But I was like, yeah, we gonna go get a nice dinner. You know, we gonna get a porterhouse or a prime rib. And it's gonna and be that's tough. That's how we move. Yeah. That's how we but move. It takes us in yeah. these type of podcasts to give the young men the knowledge. Now, I, I I'm a be on their defense because mm. I used to teach this to Ares, my older son. Okay, and my son said, Dad, I'm being a gentleman. He said, but you can't do that now with these mm. women. Well, how old is he? He's 37 now. He's about okay. to be a granddaddy. Mm. So that's oh, another cool. thing. All right. So 10 years ago, yeah. 
he he'll say, Dad, I'm doing what you yeah, say. Yeah, right. He said, you can't do that no more. Yeah, mm. you can. He said, so you said, no, 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 let me finish. Go yeah. Ahead. He said, you can't do that no more because I said, this is exactly what I told him. I said, son, you're dating beneath me. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Oh. So exactly. I said, it's just, <laughs> I said, you're dating beneath you, son. That's why you have the problem. And most men, no disrespect when I say this. Date beneath them. You date beneath you. Fuck them and their disrespect. Yeah. Quit dating beneath you. Fuck yeah. is wrong with because you? Because <laughs> they go, they go for the easy grab. They right. go for the easy fuck, and not understanding that um, sex makes babies, not love. Right? So, uh, okay. So, so okay. They, they gotta really understand that. A lot of people don't know about sapiosexual. What's that? Say. Sure Sapio, sapiosexual. Sapiosexual. Mental. Mental. They don't understand how to connect with a woman mentally. Right. So we have all these confusion, but it's us. Yeah. What I'm saying, they say crazy things. And I know when I'm dealing with a child, when they say, oh, fuck that. Yeah. And I yeah. try to explain to the young man, like, no, no, no. Just take the time to listen. I'm not here to put you down. Because what you're going through is really what you feel. Yeah. Right. No one's never taken the time to teach you the game. Yeah. Right. And you're dating women that don't respect what you're doing. Mm. Because the women now act like men. Man. This um, uh, uh, Iyana Von Sant said that mm -hmm. she was, you know, Iyana's like really dope. She's yes, dope. She is. Yes, I she, it. she's gone through her phases of mistakes, but she's yes. always held herself accountable. Yes, man, she said that to these girls. They, she said, and these girls were talking. It was the girl. It was that one lawyer chick who said, "Oh, oh, uh, the bus driver. A bus driver. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. he owns the bus." He was. She was like, "No, no, you." Right. You you cannot be. He said, "You women are talking crazy to mm -hmm. men. Right? Yeah. Like you're a man. Right? Yeah. You want to be a man. It's not working, and you wonder why you by yourself. Yep. You cannot be talking to men like this. And I it's told crazy." The same thing to a young man, I said, "Because you know, girls now say, What up, bro?' Or dude.' Yeah, bro, bro, <laughs> right. bro, bro.' And I said, told, told this young man not too long ago. I said, "Imagine going to bed at night. Your back is turned to your girl, and you're ready to good night, babe." And she says, good night, bro. <laughs> My point that I'm saying, yeah. we, we want women who talk soft. Right. Mm -hmm. Even when you're mad, yeah. you still sound like a lady. You still no sound doubt. soft. Yeah. Because when you get mad and you have any inkling of masculinity in you, that's a turn off. Yeah. Yeah. That's a turn off. And what I taught myself, that if a woman is tough yeah. or she can tongue wrestle with you, I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I've smacked women like that years ago. I don't, I, I, in my life, if I even see a, a little of that, I can't date that woman I'm out. anymore. Like, like you, I guess my vice for women is smart alecky women. I can't, I had, it's like, it's happened to me a few times, mm -hmm. like the other day. Okay. Mm -hmm. After the show was dope, everybody murdered. Like, mm -hmm. and I ended the show, bong, bong, bong. It was beautiful. Like, you right. know, like everybody's, all yeah. the comics, we all kill, we chilling. And you know where the comics standing, and people are leaving, going, "Yo, that was dope." Mm. Everybody's loving the shit. So I did this whole Chinese. I do the Chinese kung fu bit. The shit right. is fire, right? right? So a lot of there was Chinese people going, "Yo, yo, you killed that shit." Sounded just like da da da. Right. Boom. So everybody's clearing out. There was this one lady, Asian woman, pretty, pretty as fuck. So she was like, "Oh, that was really, it was really dope." Da da da. Cool. I said, "Thank you." I said, "Yo, I appreciate that." She goes, "You should appreciate it." I said. What does that mean? What, is, what does that mean? I should appreciate it. I was like, that don't make any sense. She was like, well, I mean, I, I was thinking, I'm not saying you should appreciate it because you did, you know, you did, she flipped it on me. Yo, you know, because, you know, you did, I said, I did the accent right because I have Chinese friends. I've been to China, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I'm Chinese Malaysian. That's what Alyssa is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm already like, this, what? Okay. Right, right. Right. And so, um, so um, she goes, um, yeah, um, I speak, uh, my parents speak uh, Mandarin, Cantonese. But I say, Cantonese is hard as shit. That's a hard language. Mm -hmm. It's harder than Mandarin. Yeah. She goes, well, you need to step your game up. I said, my game has always been stepped the fuck up. What are you talking about? Right. So she, What's just, wrong with you? I said, it's the insecurity. Just, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just say, hey, good show, and keep it moving? Yeah. Why does it got to be? You got to bring me down a peg. You yeah, cut because my legs out. just say, hey, I like you. I dig you because you stopped. You was with your friends, yeah, and you stopped to talk to me yeah. in front of my face. Right. And I'm like. And you're saying, I'm Chinese-Malaysian. I go, but I already roll with it. But I'm going to show you some player move now. <laughs> What's up? She liked you. She's exactly. another person. I know that yeah. because That's the dude came yeah. back. A dude, right. Her friends came back and said, 
Yo, you still here talking to him? And she and I said, Oh, is this your is this your boyfriend? She goes, He wishes. I go, nobody's wishing for pussy. Yeah, yeah, right, Not right. in this day and age. Nobody wishes. This ain't the eighties. Right. Nobody's right. wishing to be with you. <laughs> fuck is wrong with these bros? Right, right. I say, get the fuck out of here. It's like nobody's wishing. Nobody. Right. People are fucking at 13. Let's yeah, keep it hundred. So true. You get there's there's there's, there's you, I'm surprised Uber, there probably is Uber ass. You could Uber pussy to you. <laughs> yes, I'm wishing. You, the fuck is I'll give you wishing? a crazy thing. You women, though. stop with the wishing. Ain't nobody fucking wishing. <laughs> fuck out of here. I, my, I have older sisters. Yes. Oh, yes. My, my sister that passed away yeah. was a straight G. Mm-hmm. Jewelry, trips. She always was playing these. She was a awful human being. Mm-hmm. Just a cunt. Understand, understand, understand. And 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 she always played motherfuckers. And yeah. and, and I and as she got older, because she was always she was she used to do what I call the foodie call. It's like foodie call is like booty call. when you call her, you hungry. Right. So you call a cornball and, and he feeds you. <laughs> So There's she, people out there like oh yeah, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. So but true. she used to get trips and jewelry and yeah. designer, blah, blah, blah. So I'm watching her get older, right? Yes. And she was so abusive that she didn't know how to be kind, right? right? So now she's the, the last dude she had, she had this bus driver who was a old, little older. He was getting ready to retire. They were thinking about getting married. Yeah. And she just, she's just such a disrespectful cunt wow. that she just kept... <laughs> And and the dude just was like, I, he got he retired and then he he bounced. Right. She got older and then it got to the point where because she didn't have she didn't have nothing set up. Mm-hmm. She had right. no mm-hmm. financial shit set up, so it was a situation where now she's at my house. We don't get along. We barely talk. Right. I got to the point where I wouldn't even I would say hello because I didn't want to be so nasty because. I, I, I didn't want to be more meaner to her than I would have been to a homeless dude. Okay. So right. I, I, I maintained my civility, but I kept my distance. She was like, I'm trying to be have a relationship. I'm like, I have no room for a relationship. You're an awful human being. But as she got older, right, yeah. didn't have any companionship to the yeah. point where she used to call up the cable vision to argue with them so she had physical contact. Damn. So she could have somebody to talk to. Or she would have her laundry picked up and and then then argue with the dude just because she had nobody to talk to. And I wasn't, I was like, right. yo, That's I'm. That's insane. And, That's and crazy, I right? And I watched her deteriorate, just be living alone in my house, like, because I gave her a place to stay till mm-hmm. her time was, and then, and, and watched her create situations just so she could have some human contact wow. with other people. And so that's that's what happens when you when you can't get out of your own way yeah. to the point where you have, you have, you don't even know how to be kind. Right. And then when she so uh so like uh my sister put her in a in a home and I was like, "Yo, I after, I don't even know what home he put cuz once she left, I never spoke to her right. again." My sister called me up and was like, "Huh, she's crying." <laughs> She like Sharon is dead. I was like, my condolences. You you need something? <laughs> That's true, yeah. When because people are so evil throughout their lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much. It's, it's like, and sometimes you're born into a fucked up family. Yeah, and yeah. people think because you family, but you there's some respons- You have to have right. a responsibility to you. Like you talk about your own personal growth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, like you keep fucking up. It, there comes a time where people are just not interested. I, and I told my sister, I said, look, when she died, don't don't call me for nothing. Right. When she get, moves out of my house, it's, that's I, Dead. I, I said the only way I will pay for a funeral if you bury that bitch in wow. a three foot hole, head first with her with her Gucci slippers so hanging she, out the you, top. You hated her since childhood. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, she was she was horrible. Horrible. Even horrible, when I was though. a child. Yeah. Oh damn, that's yeah. a long time. That's a long time. Yeah. That's a long ass time. And you can't get past that. No. No. And I would hit the lottery. You wouldn't have fucked. But here's the thing. <laughs> right, I right. even would have gotten past it because when she ended up, got older, she moved in my house. She was still, the minute I gave her an opening, hey, how you doing? She would be like, well, uh, how how you think? I'm like, well, get the oh, fuck. Yeah. I, can't, like, I can't take like the, the smart just like Alec. Just this Malaysian. Well, my, she right. just that same. She was like, blah, blah, blah. And I go. But can and, I ask you a question? Yeah, yes. Sure. Why are you always loud? Oh, sorry. Uh, I, didn't know. I, well, I can't really hear myself. That's why. Yeah, but you loud. I'm not always loud. You always loud. All right, my bad. 
I, I, I apologize, CK. I, I, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm hearing this I'm nigga. Trying to, I'm trying to keep you awake. <laughs> loud than the mother. I don't life. want you to. I don't want you to go to sleep. I'm like, why is this nigga loud? I can really hear myself. Tell your story. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> TK, Let me tell you how No, fuck that TK's been like that TK's For everybody Let me tell Thank you When you, I yeah. first met This son of a motherfucker Watch this When I first <laughs> Yo, Mike Can you turn my headphones up, please? You ain't shit, TK <laughs> Okay, you know what I gotta do, right? Can you turn my headphones up? Hold on yeah, they're Share the story All right, it's Steve Harvey <laughs> Now that TK done uh, Made uh, Dante feel like a dumbass <laughs> We gonna, uh Turn down the microphone. Mike's just coming in. Because this whole explanation didn't do him no damn good. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me get my headphones on. Yo, sorry, Godfrey. Yo, okay. I apologize show you. to y'all. Yo, just... yo, and your rings are ringing. And I, I can't uh, hear it. It's fantastic. I'm, uh, that was a funny. Higher. <laughs> a little higher. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but what's funny is not the microphone. He was loud before you came here. We was in the, in the <laughs> den. Thank you. And we was talking. I'm like, why is this nigga? You know what? So it's why? Like, well, you couldn't. Like, so <laughs> it's my thing, T. You couldn't have told me that over there. No, you I couldn't do it. I had to wait. I had to, I had to wait for the right moment. I was like, we was in there. I was eating peanuts. Yo, he was so loud that I ate two bags of peanuts. <laughs> Because he was scaring me. I deserve it. I, I said, deserve it. Is this motherfucker Ooh, mad at something? One. I yeah. deserve oh, it. Oh, shit. I'm crying, boy. I deserve Godfrey. it. I'm like this. Godfrey. I, I deserve I'm like everything this. I get. You deserve everything. Yo, I deserve all of it. All right, fair enough. Yo, Yo I'm eating peanuts. You get on the mic to me. I'm eating peanuts. Like, oh, what the fuck God. is he upset about? And, and this is why And this, this is why you don't hang out with I'm comedians. I'm like loud than a motherfucker. Yo. Yo. Yo, this is, yo, and you know what's so funny, TK? Watch this. <laughs> he he wait all day long. He could have said, man. The back of my head hurts. <laughs> he he, he oh, said shit. all, all. He was like, hung out for an The hour. way he did it. Hey, could I ask you? You were like, this is about to be real important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm about to explain myself. And just Why are you me. so goddamn I, loud? I deserve it. Oh, wah, wah. I, I deserve it. I deserve Yo, wait, hold on. <laughs> I deserve all of Yo, it. Man, this shit had me. Listen, <laughs> listen. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I, I even I, told him, like, when he would do comedy with me, right? He would be, <laughs> be on the road with me. I, <laughs> now, I said this. I said, Yo, why are you screaming? <laughs> Now, now, let, let, now, tell the whole story. Tell the whole story. No. And, and, and tell, 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 tell I'm going to tell you the whole story. I said, you're on stage, and you're screaming. Why are you screaming? I don't tell him why. Now, so I'm going to be full disclosure. <laughs> Godfrey is a beast right. on stage. It was early on when we started working together. And I, and I, you know, you work with a motherfucker that you admire. And, and so I wanted... I, like, I wanted the respect of a nigga that I looked up to. And so I was so excited. I was pushing right. because of the fact that I had so much respect for him. Right. And and I didn't realize. And and that's not my, like, that's not how I do it. No, I said talk the way you talk. Yeah. Like, just yeah. be, because you're but, already a presence. Yeah. But since we're family now. Yeah, yeah. That was so funny. I'm here to tell you, you're bullshit. <laughs> I'm not. You're bullshit. <laughs> You've been loud since the first time. <laughs> hey, how about really? Yes, you fucking loud. Right, fair oh, like, fair for a month, you was in my oh head. Oh my fair god! And even when you text me, <laughs> the, the, the text is loud. The loud comes like <laughs> I'm a, when you right. text me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> <laughs> My, my text coming oh, in, 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 in capitals. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. 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 oh, my God. Oh, that was good. Every time he texts me, I, I got to put the phone back. <laughs> it's, it's in capitals. It's loud. My, my oh. text is all caps. Oh, oh no. That's I, I know I'm going to say this. I appreciate it because here's what I'm going to do. Well, well, I'm going to type of dude will take that. No, because you tell us the truth too. Yeah, all the shit. time. You know, I would never I wouldn't have it any other way. So damn funny. I will so, be I will remember this so and, and be He goes, can I add I'm thinking something really yeah. poignant. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> Set me up lovely. Tell him the story how I did you too. Let me show you how Because I do this to everybody. He's okay. such a right. dick. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm I'm out, it's in Chicago. We're on this place called Dejoise. It's a club. 
where we I started comedy and they just you know they would have parties at the, you know on weekends. This brother named Steve Dejoie, they owned it a real nice area downtown, merchandise march area are of of Chicago. And we're, I'm outside. It's after the club. We parking lot pimp and that shit. Right. So there's this girl named Lisa Fisher. Woo. Right. Lisa Fisher. She introduced me to Malcolm Jamal Warner. That's how me and Malcolm became friends. Mm. But I'm sitting there. She had an ass, like pretty, Gorgeous. real cool as fuck. And I'm just talking to her. I'm not trying to talk. I already know her. We're talking. <laughs> oh, I heard this story. This is how I met him. I, I he goes, excuse me. Excuse me, brother. Are you like dating her? Are you? Is this your bad? Is this your woman? He's like, cool. Can you like get out of my way so I can talk to her? I was like, no, nah, all right. I, I, what am I? He, and he was like this. He wasn't even laughing. He goes, yo, could you like get out of my way so I can talk to her? Thanks, man. It was the. I've fun. always I, been that way. And, and I was like, and God, I gotta give him yeah. his props. And right. I'm not, it's not my woman. Right, he goes, is right. that your woman? Yeah, could you move so I could like talk <laughs> yeah, to her? Yeah. That yeah, was that me, that that's me, how I first met. That's how I first. And then he was like, "Hey, man, I just had to talk to her because you know I didn't mean." To be, but it was like that's how I met him. Yeah, I was. But I was a gentleman. No, you were. Yep, no, I was a gentleman. Yeah, but it was, get mad at that. I sure was. It, but it was like a, an asshole type of gentlemanly <laughs> right, nice way, and, nasty. and just go, yeah, yeah. Nice could you and like? Nasty. Could you? <laughs> You get out the way. But you ended up like kicking it with her, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he yeah. macked her the fuck down. Because yeah. after shows, this was TK, because I was I opened up for him. Right. In, sure in Chicago. Is. I would he be the tell, opener. Yeah, he's the that's how I hooked him up. Because I thought he was so corny, but he was so talented. I said, I can't, I can't believe it. Because I wasn't, I can't, I can't, you know why? I can't because believe what the fuck I'm seeing. <laughs> Listen, you. Because I had all the street. Listen to me. When I say I, I had the street I wasn't lot. doing street shit. He, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm good, right. about to comfort you. No, yeah. Compliment me. So I had, I had the whole street. He used to have these motherfuckers in tears. Right. So I remember one time, me, Bolo, all of us. Bolo. Was, yeah. yeah. You told me about I'm yeah. talking about Bolo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we hustling yeah. back in our younger days. We get there, we count money and shit. And we get there, I'm late. But Godfrey's got these motherfuckers wrong. And I'm watching them. This is all jokes back. aside. All jokes Chicago, aside. Yeah. And I'm watching them. I was like, <laughs> it, can't even, it don't even compute. Yeah, I'm like, this nigga, corny than a motherfucker, but he's funny. That, that day, I said, yo, come fuck with me in New York City, yo. I got you. And we talked, and the next thing I knew, that nigga got in a U-Haul truck. I was coming to New York I, City, yo. I got in a U-Haul truck. My mother was crying, I remember. How long, how long after did you just... Like we, about two weeks? Well, well, Not even that long. Well, I was... I, I, I came to New York and visited and did Tina's run. Right. I would do Tina Graham's run. Right. That's when Tony Woods let me stay at his spot. Didn't really know me that well but right. from Chicago, but he let me stay at because he was leaving out of town. He goes, yo, you can stay in my spot and, it was in Flatbush for a week. Yeah, he he was he good was, guy. He was house sitting for Warren Hutchinson. Yes, wow. Warren Remember Hutchinson that. Remember who was Warren. becoming Damn. yeah, who's became wow. a big yeah, yeah. yeah. So I stayed there. Tony just let me stay there, trusted me to yeah. stay there, and I said I will never forget that man. Mm. What you did, I will because I had a friend that bailed on me yeah. when I was trying to do that Tina run because right. I came in with my suitcase to Manhattan proper. Okay, and while I, I came in my suitcase. Talent tore my ass up. Didn't know I was the guy from Chicago. I just had a suit. He was like, oh, check this nigga out with the goddamn suitcase. Right, that right. Nigga tore my ass. And I went to the back. And, it, and the town was like, yo, B, I didn't know you was the wishing it. Oh, I was like, yo, but you my had bad. a suitcase. I, had, I was like, that's cool. Right, shit. Right. You're a comedian. What the fuck? But that's, that, I start, I had to take the train and the bus. This before I, you came with me. Before I came okay. with you, but, but okay. I had to do that little run. Right. I did the little run. And then, because t- David was like, yeah, you got, you know, there's a r- thing you in New York right. to try, you know, whatever, whatever. Right. I did that, and I was just commuting back and forth to Chicago, New York. That's when I met Jameek. I met, yeah. you know, Tracy Morgan. I met, that's Chappelle, DC yeah. Benny, all of them motherfuckers, right, right? right? And I was running around with these cats, doing all the fucked up rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's how you got to do it. Peppermint Lounge. Right. Pol- I be trying poke to, knockers. I poke knockers. I be trying to tell these motherfuckers mm-hmm. I'm from Chicago's black circuit. They don't get it. I'm trying. Right. I remember uh, 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 the Click. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Cotton Club. Mm. And his dudes Peppermint were gangsters. Dude, his dudes loved me. Yeah. His sure bowl. Of, <laughs> these were real gangsters. Yeah. And yeah, they was yeah. always the like flat. They had the nicest Gangsta. shit on. Yeah. My but whole these, crew was. Yeah, but these dudes would give you the business though. Right. But they fuck with me. Yo, yeah. God, what up, man? 
blah, 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 because I was comfortable with myself. Right. I didn't fake Honest. gangster. Honest. No. I'm a college kid. Yeah. I didn't fake He no never gangster. tried to be that. No. Absolutely. Nope. I was like, hey, what's up, guys? He was just a, he was just a <laughs> nice kid. And he gave me credibility. Yeah. Because obviously, if I'm fucking with him, he's nice. <laughs> TK can't be all that bad. <laughs> but what's, what's really great, though, is to see TK get on stage. I'm standing next to the Chicago police. They're laughing at this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> TK gets off stage and put him in handcuffs. That was yeah. the craziest. Well, they didn't just put me in handcuffs. <laughs> They had the building surrounded. Yeah. I was on the investigation. They waiting on me that whole and night. Watch the show. They watch the laughing. Shit. They're they like this. Watch time. this. I'm walking out to the lobby, and I see a cop car like three blocks away just parked. We did like, like 900 shows. Right, right, right. I come back out the second show. The car is closer. <laughs> I still not playing. I'm young, so I'm not experienced and shit. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> After the show, my people, you know, I got the whole street there. Yeah. They say, T, the cops coming and looking for you. I said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Me and about eight of my crew, we yeah. go into the office. Yeah. I take clothes off, and we switch clothes. My boy put on outfit. I put on an outfit. We walk out the door, the back door, eight, nine deep. When we walk out, guess what? The motherfucking police back there, too. So we all split up. <laughs> we all split the fuck up. That's what happened. We like, boom, boom, boom. And they rolled up on me on the sidewalk, took me to jail. Yeah. Now, Bolo, our, our guy, yeah. Bolo had attorneys on, on payroll. Yeah. By seven, when we got into when we he got told into me this, the, he said, "You said, yo, I, I'll, I'll be tomorrow. out. I'll, I'll yeah. be out for yeah. my yeah. show." Didn't like, I say that? I said, I'll said, be out. I'm gonna be out for the, the show. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna like, be out. And I was like, "This, holy shit!" And I'm talking about he's the a way real they gangster. Came, when you the way they came, you, you, you not getting out. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I knew I was gonna be out. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> in the ball pen that morning, I hear the attorneys. Uh huh. Terrence Kirkland. Terrence Kirkland. <laughs> I'm like a bitch. Here I am. <laughs> here I am. He said, he said, Bolo sent us. We here to Bolo. protect. He said, we're here to protect your rights. That's exa- Remember that to this Bolo day. Bolo looked like Mike Tyson. Yeah. He exactly. said, we're here to protect your rights. Go to the front of the judge. Boom. By the show the next night. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. T to the motherfucker. <laughs> Bam. We out the door, dog. <laughs> Crazy stories, And right? I would watch TK after the shows, Chicago. And I don't exaggerate. Thank you, sir. Women line the fuck in a line like this. And, he, yeah. and I'd be like, and I'd watch him. He'd be like, hey, did you have a good show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Did you have a good show? I watched this for all. He goes, see, you got to meet the people. Yeah. You got to talk to you them. Gotta you got to shake them. their hands. And nobody you knows how that. that started. You see comedians doing that? Yeah. They think I started that back in the 80s. In the 80s. Shaking this is before hands. I met them. Hold on, hold on. Here's here's what I want to go to. Okay. So Godfrey was a cornball. Yes. Right? (laughs) And you let him (laughs) you you let him open for you. Yes. And there's definitely a situation where even though he was a killer, right? You allowed him to work with you because there was no conflict. You see where I'm going? I know exactly where you're going. (laughs) There's no conflict in styles because of the fact that he it's not the fact that he that you that that he's not funny. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that there's clearly a style difference yes. that complements each other. And the reason why is what I sent you yesterday about the gentleman would say I, I have rules yeah. about doing stand up. Yeah. And these kids are just so soft when it comes <sighs> to not understanding what an OG is teaching. Right. Now you heard the interview. He said, uh, TK. I, I had all these rules on how you had to be, and and to me it was a, a place of insecurity. And let me tell you, oh, guy. oh, oh, it was, oh. It no, was, no, we don't say his name. No, we don't say yeah, his we name. Ain't, we don't get nobody props for him. Okay, cool. Yeah. What, what I want young comics to understand, if your comedy IQ yes. is high. We'll see. See, there's a thing called comedy IQ. Yes. If you got that, you understand what the fuck I'm saying. Word. If you don't have comedy IQ, you find it insulting. You find it like, oh, I, he he thinks that I'm going to be funny than him. <sighs> Do you know I'm a fucking legend in this game? <laughs> Do you, like, I, I, I get standing ovations in Madison Square Garden. I've seen it. Stand, like, no, don't fuck with me when it comes to that mic. I've seen it. 
Don't I've fuck seen with it me. So a I want, lot. I yeah. want young comics to understand. <laughs> it, I normally don't put nobody on the show with me. Mm. But if you're on the show, there's a strategy. Here's one of my rules. Yeah. <clears throat> you may not do the same material as me, but mm. if we talk about the same topic. No, right. stay out. You're not on the show. Yeah. You can't do it. You can't. I love you, but listen, this no. is this is no. my comedy IQ yeah. tells me that can't happen. Nope. Years ago, yeah. when you don't know no better, right. you go ahead and do it. Yeah. But when you get to our level. You can't, right. And my motherfucking name is on the marquee. Now, which you've I, earned. I, yes. I, I also well, want to say, I there, are, there are definitely dudes who, because you're funny, won't give you a shot because you're funny and they don't want That's to true. smoke. That's that true. is a That's true, true thing. But the other thing is that if stylistically yes. we are similar, right? If topically we are similar, yes. it's... it's it, Comedy is not like music. This is my favorite song. I mean, this bands that play a song and they ask for yo play it again. Right, that's yes. so true. Every once somebody hears your joke, it, it's been heard. It is, it is diminished yeah. the minute they hear the joke. So if you hear, if if so, like and Godfrey and I are the same way. Like I'm not where I'm not. I'm like my style is not. Like you, yes. you're you're more street than me, but right. I understand what you're saying, and, and but but <clears throat> we have a different style, right? Right. And I murder when I, we rock, but Godfrey don't care that I murder because what he does is so distinctly different Thank than you. what I do. Thank you. It it, it only uplifts the show. When yes. he gets on stage, he sits down. I don't. It's right. just, even that's different. Exactly. Everything is different. I say, kill. He go, how many minutes you do? I say, do a half. Smash right. that shit. And I take it and I go, yeah, <laughs> give it up for him. Right. And I turn into Thanos. Like, <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and let me tell you what I do. What do you do? I only give comics 10 minutes. Right you, right, you only give them 10, right? I only give them 10. Well, we do two-man shows. Yeah, see, yeah. I might have different comics. And it, it, I just like do two-man. I just go half eight, hour, yeah, hour. Yeah. You just do two-man shows. Yeah. Me, personally, because I can't risk it. Because I here's the thing about me. Mm. If I make a decision, I let the person go because I felt like I was being nice. And that person do conflict with something I do, I have an attitude for the rest of the fucking mm. night. Because I went against my better judgment. Right, yeah. right. And I'm like, man, I'm just gonna do this shit by my fucking self. Mm -hmm. No, you know? yeah, yeah. So that way I don't have to get upset. No, right. I ain't got I don't have to tell you nothing for you to be pussyfooting right. and embarrassed or yeah. your feelings is hurt. Yeah. Because I told you there was <laughs> rules to this shit. There's rules to my motherfucker show. Sure, sure. Because when that, when I say good night, it gotta be about me. Yep. I earned the right yeah. to do this shit. And don't never say you think that you fun to me. I'm, let me, let me I'm sure. Yo, 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 you better be different than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I told this dude, if you get inspired, you will be fired. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking do... I knew a dude, I fired him. I was in the I Bay Area. That. I was in the Bay Area. And I did some, some stuff. The next day, the security dude's like, yo, your man is like doing some of the stuff you was doing. I said, what? And then I said, all right, let me just see for myself. Right. So I switched and did some. I did. I talked about me being a psych major in college. Okay. This knucklehead did the same thing. I said, wow. get rid of this dude. Wow. He, I, I fired him right in the. That's I said, right. you're, you're out of here. That's you right. can't. You can't do this, man. Right. And then he sold. Then he sold T-shirts that were taken from an art piece that I knew about. And he said he made it up. I go, that's an art piece. Mm. And uh, I've seen that in an art store. You're lying, bro. Wow. Mm. He was one of the, he was a weird, yeah, yeah, psych, yeah. he's a sociopath. Even, I want to I point something out, yes, too. Sir. The dude that was talking about you mm -hmm. yeah. well, shall remain, like Voldemort, yeah. shall, shall remain nameless. Right, right. Yes. I mentioned it to Godfrey, and Godfrey said, yeah, I worked with that dude. He went up in the as a as a host and did forty five minutes. Yeah, all this on my show. Yeah, and then I and a lot of time and he's great comedian. He's awesome. Funny, you know? funny dude. But my thing is this: there's a time limit here on yeah. these shows, especially if it's two shows. When they say it's a business, yeah. it's a fucking business. Thank you, sir. And the management goes, "Hey, 
this is you're running. We got another show. That you got to make sure up we don't mind you doing your time because right. this is what they come to see. Right. But the people under that's why there's certain cats I mess with because they get they do their thing, they get off, bang. That's so important. It's important. It's, it's not so about important. oh I'm you're worried. No one's worried Ain't about no you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I had another dude do this to me. Oh, I remember this is Virginia Funny mm -hmm. Bone. We had good shows. The dude was funny. I liked him and everything. Right. He was a road comic. And he said, in our third, fourth show in, we're having a good time. He goes, yo, God, man, I just want to say I've been holding back. Right? And I, uh, I, he I'm just, listening. I was minding my business. He right. said, I said, holding back on what? What are you talking about? I just been holding back, man. I, you know, I don't want to, like, you know, take your shot, shot. shot. And I said, sir, I want to tell you something. Please don't hold back. I said this to him. He about 6'3". I said, don't ever hold back. If you, I don't care if you juggle, get on a unicycle, <laughs> please do. And I said, have you done the New York circuit? No. I said, oh, God, please. Thank you. Have you done Chicago? I said, listen, please don't hold back. I'll even give you an extra 10. Right. But I want to let you know that when I get on stage in five minutes, they're going to forget who the fuck you are. Since you want to go there with me. And I went on stage. I was ripping at the beginning. I said, I said, hey, yeah, I told you, right? They don't know you anymore. Right. I did it in the right. middle of my show. I said, I told you. The fuck is wrong with you? What did yeah. you say afterwards? And, 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 what did you say afterwards? Oh, he was quiet. I didn't yeah. speak to him. I was like, why would you do that? Yeah. And here's the thing I like to do. Because when I talk, like I said, it seemed like yeah. TK's lying. Mm -hmm. He's not. Godfrey, tell them what I'm capable of doing on that motherfucking mic. Listen, man. I've seen this motherfucker go up with the fucking worst animals in the room and then everybody just comes together. <laughs> I mean, just, yeah. and not not even, not even raise his voice. Yeah. Barely raise his voice. I mean, motherfucker, heck, I remember when you, someone heckled you, man. This was one of the funniest comebacks. It wasn't even a comeback. He said, hey, man, I ain't one of these, I ain't trying to be clever with you, man. I'll shoot you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I said you said it like you were like I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna, I think you're Godfrey, mistaken because he I'm is the president, president of, of the homeowners, homeowners association. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah, I'm before before when you were in and out of jail. President of the homeowners association. <laughs> that this is a fictitious sure, story. Yeah. you just brought up. I'm president of the homeowners association. <laughs> oh, you're right. I take this very seriously. But Godfrey. this was long time ago. But my point is, no, but no, he, don't never say to me yeah, you think I'm. It's hard. It's you're I'm not following TK. TK. Is scared of anybody. No. I, I, me, Michael Williams, Robin Harris, put all this together, people. Robin shout Harris out to had, Michael Williams. Yeah, shout out to Michael <laughs> Williams. And because it wasn't for Michael Williams and Forty Third and Crenshaw, let everybody know, none of this probably wouldn't even be existing. Yeah. We go when we came up during the heavyweight Sinbad, <sighs> Eddie Murphy. <sighs> Robin Harris, who was a beast by himself. From Chicago. Yeah, um, um, Damon Wayans, mm. the Wayans brothers, the sisters, their baby, the little baby, the, when the baby's two months old, mm. they, you, you had to follow their whole family. Um, um, Martin Lawrence, <laughs> Tommy Davidson. <laughs> Man, the, it just, it the list goes You had on to go on after, after these guys. <laughs> this was every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> there was heavyweights. Heavyweights. Mm. These comedians talking what they talking. <laughs> The they, 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 I'm, I'm not even trying to put anybody down, but I said your urban circuit now, yo, please. Mm. I oh, mean, no. I'm not. It's it's bullshit. Yeah, not even it's if you took now compared to what we. <laughs> oh my god, yo, what? Because you used to put on shows yeah, yeah. in New I York. I promoted shows. Promoted you already shows. know. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was man. man. And the, you know when you talk about even when you talk about and this was you were talking about prior to Def Jam, but yes. those are the dudes that got. They got burned because they were doing it before then. Yes. And what happened was it's like people would talk about black comedy in a way that wasn't even so. If you just think about Def Jam and the the extensive uh, styles, mm -hmm. different. Like, it was like old school hip hop. It right. was De La Soul and PM Dawn. And it was, Jungle, uh, it was you know so many saying? people. So, yeah. And so different in yeah. their nature. All of that stuff got bastardized after mm -hmm. the fact with, when Lathan did Comic View. Yeah. And he would have a, a a topic, and then eight dudes would do the same topic. Yep, so and then true. the perception of black comedy was that everybody does the same. And then built into black yeah. comedy circuit was was joke death. Right. Yeah. Like you couldn't do that back in the days. You no. couldn't just do people's so jokes. True. So yeah. true. And and then became part of it because it was like hood dudes 
who it was hood crowds yep. where you had to kill. Right. So if you had to kill, you didn't have room to work your nothing, stuff out. Nothing. Right. So a joke has to be worked out. This, yes. this. Unless you had the privilege, because I, I was I was lucky to be doing mainstream and yes. the so hood. he had it all. I did both. Because he was corny. Because it's, <laughs> right. Yeah. But he it's, had it all. He but, had yeah, yeah. but in Chicago, the I was like, um, I was doing some open mics. It was like some mainstream open mics. And then I had said, hey, man, I want to do like black crowds. I mean, yeah. where do I go? Like, yeah. And they were like, oh, and some, I can't even remember. I think I was at a porch, I was at a poetry slam. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yo, because I had a lot of poetry friends. They was like, yo, there's Bernie Mac, man. Bernie Mac, there's a dude, Bernie Mac over there at the comedy, uh, the uh, com, uh, I'm sorry, the Cotton Club Uh, on Mondays. You should go over there. He goes with his band. I said, who the fuck is that? They said, yo, he's dope, man. I was like, okay. So I I made sure I got there early and shit. And so I was like, give me the Cotton Club and shit. Because I had seen, I heard about the guy, I'd never been. So I'm there. Then I, saw, I come in and shit, and I see Bernie Mac and shit. I see this dark skinned dude with round glasses and a, a towel, and Evan Lionel. Yes. Yeah. Evan was around. Right. I just and saw that Evan like Ev- a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. Evan was, mm-hmm. and, 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 and Bernie's like, I'm sick and tired of being motherfucking sick and tired. <laughs> you know, I'm tired of this shit, <laughs> motherfucker. You know, and he was doing that ABC thing, the drugs thing A, amphetamine, B, mm-hmm. barbiturates. <laughs> you know, he's doing all this shit. Right. And then I waited and shit, and I was like, okay. Uh, and I asked, hey, uh, uh, are you Bernie Mac? Yeah, I'm Bernie Mac. I said, uh, yeah, you got you have an open mic to this variety show? Yeah. He said, I said, can I I wanna I wanna I wanna get in. He's like, he said, okay, come next week, Monday, eight o'clock, five motherfucking minutes. You understand? <laughs> motherfucker. Down. And if you're in five minutes, we play the motherfucking that's music. Right, <laughs> bong, bong. Right. And those guys, him, Steve Harvey, Mark Curry, who was a wonderful cat. Yeah. You no, know, even when he was the fucking man, yeah, yeah. he was still the nicest guy Sweet in the world. Dude. But all of them, DL. Don D.C. Curry. Yep. I'm talking about, you talk about hammer hitting. Remember yeah. Terry Tough? Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Terry Tough called me. Wow. Terry Tough. Terry Tough. There was d- downtown Tony Brown. Yep. When I tell you these motherfuckers was knocking it out the, I'm talking rip, rip and bro. Sinbad would just, it was just yeah. like, <sighs> I mean. Unreal. That's what we saw. Right. And these cats here, I go. And we're not hating you, on you. Not at kid. all. Not at it's, all. It's just that. Y'all got to start respecting it's the what respect. we paved yeah. the way for yeah. mm-hmm. what they're doing. Yeah. It's disrespectful. We paved the way. Yeah. It's like the magic in them paved the way for these young kids getting the money that they're getting, mm. and they know we're on the level of the Magic oh. Johnsons back in the day. Mm. Uh, no. These mm. kids got opportunities, and, and we want you to get it because we, we're successful, and I, oh, too. Yeah, and I t- in, the lo- in the green room etiquette. Ooh. Please explain that. Okay. Please explain. Okay. okay. Shout out to Raymond Lambert, Mary Lindsay, and James Alexander, who were the owners of All Jokes Society. It was the number one black comedy club for seven years, and it wasn't a black night. It was a black comedy club. It was open seven days a week. Yes. Okay? So I remember this. Mary was the one who really spoke. She goes, when you do your set, you sit over either at the bar or by where the comics are if it's not packed, and you do not go in the green room unless you're asked to. Yep. That was it. And we got the message. Yep. Or you're not going to perform there. Right. And these motherfuckers, you walk in, they will just be in there eat, eating eat your, your fruit. <laughs> eat your fruit. And you're so like, true, and they'll be like. It's irritating. Yeah, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a local comic. And what the fuck does that mean? You're not on the show. Mm. You're not. What, what are you doing? Yeah. What, why and are they you in take here? it like they're entitled. Yeah. They'll yeah. have chicken bones. <laughs> Yeah. Like you got, you know, I have, I have flowers and shit. I have vanilla candles. Oh, nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, my shit, play as shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers, the plastic gonna it, peel it, you that. Explain that. You t- gotta explain that. You gotta explain that. You get a rider. Yeah, it's explain called a rider. It. And, yeah. and, and, this and thing people's riders really? are extensive. Like, yeah. people do, but I gotta have a bottle of Ace of Spade right. or a bottle of Mo. I gotta right. have yellow long stem roses. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, my room when the, the vanilla candle. So by the time I walk in, it's smelling oh, good. That yeah. motherfucker is all That's good. good. Senate shit. Now after the show, because yeah. of the roses, yeah, I get women roses. <laughs> Play your shit. <laughs> and I don't want nobody coming in. My, love it in my green room, fucking up my energy. I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I say I have in it's energy. I don't want no one in there, and I shut the door. <laughs> Yeah. Nigga, I don't have bodyguards and 900 <laughs> right, people right, coming. Hell to me. no. Nope. Shutting my motherfucking door. <sighs> I got everything off. The candles yeah. is on. Oh. I'm not talking. Mm. All I know is that when I touch that mic, 
I'm in the, in the, the headspace. The Lord sent me to deliver a message. <laughs> I love it. And I handle my business. That's it. And that's all I want to do. I don't want no... Then I shake your hand afterwards. Right. Then I go on about my business, man. That's it. But you've known me for 30-something years. Yeah. I've yeah. done this. So never, in, in any comic, you ever think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe if you forgot. If you somehow you don't know. Yeah. Ask somebody. And a lot of times they think, here's another thing, and you have to learn this. All of us have learned. They think because you made someone laugh, you did something. Yeah. You didn't tell a story. Right. You did a couple. You think you, you're not yeah. get, you're really not getting the full picture. And, and you're not seeing the honest, forest for there, the trees. There is also no, there is zero expectation for you. Yes, true. If you died and didn't make the show, nobody cares. Here's the right. ultimate right. question. Can you make them laugh in another country? Mm. Hello, everyone. Thank you. And you know who everyone. showed me? You know who showed me that way? Tony Woods. That's right. You talk about international mm. and fucking mastery. Yeah. Tony fucking Woods. I will say it again. When I went to, he took us to, hey, we're Amsterdam. We mm -hmm. did Dutch. And the Dutch are yeah. cold people. That's why they right. make good colonizers. Right. <laughs> cold and they big as fuck. They're mm -hmm. giants. Right. I'm not. I'm telling you that that that's why they colonized because they were big and they didn't give a fuck, um, and they were cold. And so I, you know, I came in not knowing the the pacing, mm -hmm. and that Tony Woods, that motherfucker, effortless. was like a chess master. Yeah. Yes, he'd be like, "Hey, what's up, everybody? Tony Woods, just yeah, want to let y'all know." Right. I'm like this, ooh, ooh, bong, 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 killing. Boom. He was just such a mess. And I watched. I knew, I knew I watched, you were going to say that. I watched. Yes, I said, right. look at this. The pacing and the, ah, okay, okay, okay. It was Tony Woods. That's right. And when you go to a foreign place, it's first knowledgeable. Learn Knowledge. about the That's place right. you're at. That's right. Learn about it. Learn, learn you it. You learn. Definitely out of, out of the country. Yeah. No, no more doubt. More so than here. And they know more about you than you know about That's them. Right. That's what's yeah. fucked up. That's what's fucked up. Yeah. Here's, here's the so other that, you, no, no, I'm saying, let me sure I get this in. So... And can, and do they know you? Uh, and can you be funny in another state? Mm. People don't get that. Yes. They, don't get that. they don't get you that. They don't get. You can be Different funny references. local. Oh yes. yeah. Dog, can you be funny in Portland? Portland. Can you San be Antonio. Portland? Yeah. I'm talking about the, the, where they ain't all African American people right, right. populated. Right. right. Where you, can you go somewhere and get ninety percent of the Anchorage. door? Anchorage. And see, how about Anchorage, how, Alaska. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. got to know something. Do you, how's your business skills? Do you understand corporate America? Do you understand you don't get your money right away? Sometimes your check comes two, three months, but you don't throw nobody on the bus. You don't talk mess. The right. check is coming. Right. Right? Then you, 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 when someone takes you on the road and they give you love, mm -hmm. you always show that person love. What we do, you, you just talked about Tony Woods. Gracious. He gave you a break. To this day, you will honor him. Right. All the time. Honor him. And you've not seen it. We talk about it on the phone. Yeah. TK Tony Woods. All the yeah. time. Yeah. Tony Woods. So that's all I'm saying to the comics. Yeah. Don't ever say, and if you ever see this brother, Godfrey, I, I haven't seen Dante really perform, mm. but if you ever see Godfrey, watch him. I swear to God, it'll blow it's, your fucking appreciate so much. that. So oh, much. And, and, and the other thing, too, is I don't take comedy for granted. I bow down to comedy like it's a god because... Yeah. It will throw you off. It, it's you. It will always be better than you. If yes. you, if you, you sleep, it will kick you in yeah, the dick. We will. Do, <laughs> we will die not not doing a joke we should have done. Right. Because yeah. it's always moving. It's yeah. always there's yes. always a mystery. There's, you could. I could have done the joke better, mm -hmm. and I stay that way. That's why I have a set tomorrow and the next day. Go why you still? Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't got it. I don't. If people act yeah. like knowledge is when you get a degree, no, fuck you. Mean the start. This is. To the day we die. Yeah. Period. You, Period. You're, you're, this is to the day you die. You're, yeah. you're pursuing perfection knowing that you'll never reach it because as you become, as you get closer to perfection, it moves further and, away. Yeah, from and the older yes. you get, because comedy is based on wisdom and knowledge. No doubt. The more you know, the more knowledge you have, you become that much better. Yeah. They, it, it's the beautiful thing about comedy, too, is you, you get, it's an older person's game. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's not, so true. You're not yeah. 20 doing a magnificent yeah. shit. That's yeah. so you true. can be the hot comic for that minute. Yes. Yeah. That's so but true, sir. You, it's, it get, it's like wine. It gets yes. better with it's age. Yes. When, when people are like, oh, you older? I go, first of all, 
I got to show you something Cameron said, which was so good. You know his show? Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Well, it, man, <laughs> it is so funny. Yeah. And Mace, him, yeah, him. Yeah, love and it. Mace be like, oh, you killing me, man. <laughs> Yo, hey, I did I send you, uh, uh, he was talking about being older. Uh-huh. Mm. Yo, yo, Cameron is hilarious. Like, so, because he, he, he's so real yeah, yeah. and so Harlem. So authentic. He goes, these young niggas, man, for real? Yo, <laughs> I fuck these niggas, man. He's like, I'm older, but I look just, I look better than you, and I'm fucking your girl and your mom. <laughs> right, <laughs> That's right. real shit. So I love being here. Yo, right. yo, you, you got it? I send it I send it to your uh, mic. I send it to you. You got it down to the T, <laughs> yo. You sent it to me on Instagram? Or the way you are allowed to talk shit and get away with it yeah. and tell niggas, yo, you it's know I'm not 40 on you. You know, so <laughs> uh, be easy. And they don't do that no more. So I, to me right now, and I'm pretty sure after people see this show, they're going to name a whole bunch of other players. And be like, oh, Kim, you're bugging. You know, y'all, listen, let me tell you something <laughs> about being older. The niggas will be like, oh, you're old, this, that, and third. All <laughs> older means is I see, I know everything you know and more, and I look just as good as you, and I fuck the bitches this year age, <laughs> and I get more money than you niggas. So you get the fuck out that's my what, face with that shit, why, nigga. That's what being older means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm talking to them niggas in their early 20s, uh, 20 to 25, you like. That, that oh, was crazy, nah, yeah. I'm, t- nah, I'm not talking about teenagers. You know, that 20 to 25, oh, niggas old. I had a million, I had a million when I was 20. Shorty, how much you got? Still yeah. getting way mad millions, and I yeah. might look under you because you on. Oh, I look better than you because you on drugs. Yeah, and you know what's dope about this? I could bone your girlfriend and your mother. So, <laughs> <laughs> so watch how he <laughs> talk to yeah, you, be right? Easy, my nigga, be easy. Yeah, be easy talking to me when you're 20 to 25. <laughs> talking that, talking that older shit. Yeah, you right. That's a fact, nigga. I love it here. Yeah. I miss. <laughs> I'm going to give man. a ball to fucking Cameron. Yeah, <laughs> my man. That was so, the, that summed it up. Yeah, like, be yeah. easy, nigga. Right. Be, look at, look at you. Yeah. Look at, look. Yeah. Like, be careful. Yeah. Who you talking to, right? man? And see, and see and I could do shit that most motherfuckers can't do. See, mm-hmm. I'll meet a bitch now and put on my insurance. <laughs> 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 See, niggas don't understand that. That's grown man shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I, put, I, I put that on. <laughs> oh, that was don't worry, like, like, you talking shit, nigga. Oh, nigga, hey, baby, you, is there a problem here? <laughs> yes. Put that on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! But <laughs> that's gay. But like grown man shit. He gives game like nobody else. You give game. I get yeah. from the best, man. right? Right? Yeah, nigga. The I insurance. Get a, you, I'll put you. And then shit. I get all this other shit. Like I'm look young, but yeah. here, here goes the solid, and I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> 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 I gotta catch a flight. Down on the movie too, <laughs> nigga. And, 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 and you know I've always been smooth. Uh, uh, yeah, but no nigga. Doubt. Now Medicare, AARP, <laughs> Social Security, a movie, nigga. a movie. You get half price on the fuck? movie. I, I got points, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I got points. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Like, I could take a trip, not spend no money, <laughs> and use my points and take your bitch and your mom. <laughs> For nothing. For nothing. For nothing. Like, you want to go on a trip? Yeah. No. When, when, We're going when? tomorrow. Is that going to be expensive? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm president of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I'm president of the whole association. And see, when I was young, I used to buy bitches cars. Now, any girl that I fucked with, you didn't get a car, bitch, it wasn't you. <laughs> Just deal with it. Accept that. Accept, bitch, it didn't happen for you. <laughs> bitch, you talking about you a fraud. Bitch, it didn't happen for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but keep fucking with me, bitch, and get a scooter. <laughs> 60 mile an hour. <laughs> nigga, I buy hoes. Or a, or a, scooters or a tandem bike. <laughs> nah, nigga. No, no, no I'm yeah. talking about the scooters with the remote control. Ooh. <laughs> See? Yeah. I pulled a bitch at Wendy's in a scooter. What? Put, she was at, nigga, she was at the, but in, the, in the line. Right. Like a car. Drive. Well, in the line line. In the, yeah, in the line in the outside, the drive through. Yeah. And I said, who the fuck is this courageous bitch? 
I parked the, I pulled up. Burn, burn, yo, I, I'm gonna pay for his shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paid for it. You know, I went on the handicap section, right? <laughs> you know, when you play, you have the door open because you can smell the incense. <laughs> like I got the door open, she pulled right. <laughs> Right in front of me, right? He talking. You know, I got three hours before I catch my flight. I'm like, you live somewhere in the area? She said, yeah. I said, um, you mind if I use your breath? She said, follow me. <laughs> She's driving on the street. I'm in a rental car with the hazard lights on. Follow the bitch. <laughs> you blocking traffic. You're blowing on like, fuck you. Go around. <laughs> Nigga, we got to the house. The bitch got off the thing and got one, put her ass on one of them stair lifters. Oh, that, yeah. Hit the butt nigga, the bitch went up. Miracle, that, all the miracle old, chair. All these young bitches, leave me the fuck alone. You ain't got a stair left, the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> to lift your ass up the motherfucker. The miracle chair. Oh, nigga. Hell yeah. Oh, nigga. <laughs> she went. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when I came back to see her, she fell. <laughs> 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 and the bitch screamed and scared me. She said, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> yo, that's my time, yo. Oh, Listen, catch me this weekend at it. the world famous, at the world famous Tommy T's um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Make sure you check out Godfrey in my city, Cleveland, Ohio. My whole crew up there going to make sure they show yeah, you Yeah, Cleveland, Ohio. You know, yeah. I, got, I got Cleveland on. And let me tell you, last time I was there, Crazy Bone came. And he's. I think he's doing okay. I think he has yeah, yeah, health. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. doing okay. But he came, sat in the front. Wow. I didn't call him out or nothing. He's right, like, right. I was like, man, just like um, we had uh, uh, um, Benny the Butcher from Griselda yeah. came and I'm saw me in you, Buffalo. Show my guy love. I'm yeah. just call him, have him call you. Okay. AMG. AMG, word. Yeah, AMG live in Cleveland. Oh, yeah, AMG shit. Live in yeah, so I'm going to call him so, and tell him, yo, come tell see him, Godfrey. Man, come see. Yeah, come see Godfrey. Me so, and my boy. Yeah, Tommy T's, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, T Tommy to T. the motherfucker. Yo, man, thanks be in the for building. You, you out. You got to get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I got to. You know me. We're going to keep going for another half yeah, hour yeah, or yo, something yo, like that. Yo, y'all can have this shit. <laughs> T. <laughs> T. <laughs> right. Listen. T to the um, motherfucker. President of the Homeowner Association. Yes. I'm proud of yes, you to are. be that kind of. I'm about to be a grandfather. Nice. Um, I got two great friends. Yes, you do. This is my brother, Mr. Yes. Godfrey. And no doubt. We go back now. <laughs> God damn. Over Ooh. thirty something years, uh, easy Chicago man. Like, like easy, I mean, when I was like, I had man. a good five, seven minutes. Like, yeah. ten, yep. that's all I had. Five, yep. five yep. strong, yep. seven. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Right. How'd I do, TK? I'm so, right, <laughs> I'm so. Godfrey, I'm so proud of you. But now that um, I turned my life around, I hope you're proud of me. Um, I man, hope, listen, you know, I'll, proud I'm me. super proud of you. Yes. Not only am I super proud of you, is your your presence online. You're podcasting. People know who you are. People get excited when you're you. You be tearing up episodes. Every whether it's yeah. Vlad, whether it's whether it's those those women. Do you you be on different women's shit? Yes. Your shit stands out all the time. It's yes. like almost a privilege to have you there. Right. And please tell them the numbers I did here. Uh, five point six million. Five point six million. Your clip. clip. Your clip. Five point six. Five point yeah. six million. Right. I can't wait to clip this one up. Yeah. yeah. Five point <laughs> six, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah man. So I speak from the heart. You sp- I'm, I'm, you've I'm, always, I'm original. You've always been. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I hear stories of TK, I laugh. They go, "You know what the fuck TK said to me?" I said, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." He said that to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 exactly. And I don't mean no harm. No. It's just I like, don't mean no harm. I go, that's just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like now. He the, the, he's the, a dick. Because the thing that's going to be great when I pull off, I'm going to be thinking about Dante. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, why are you talking so Yo, motherfucking Dante, loud? Dante is so low now. It's so I'm, funny. I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking, you know, you're supposed to I'm, take an OG. No, I love it. Listen, he's all, he's that's he's your older brother. Yeah, that's so true. You're my yeah. older brothers, right? That's and that's how the fuck we're supposed, supposed to work. So true. Supposed to be number love. Always tells me what I, he'll go. God, whoa, that shit you know. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I like you, right? 
And every once in a while I go, dot, dot, yo, not right. to be. Right. And you'll, it, it's, it's, and like I said, I'm proud of your, your yes. I'm glad I inspired some so of it. So true, yeah. You're right. Staying in shape, yeah. taking care of yourself, exfoliating. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Candles. Yes, yes. Got yes, your yes. robe, got homeowners. One right. more time. Homeowners Association. <laughs> oh, homeowners. <laughs> the, the, a lot of motherfuckers don't stay in there. Yo. The humility of even him going to a younger brother and go, I'm, I want you to be proud of me. That's a oh, yeah, awesome. Yeah. That's, that that's means transformation. Get better they than say, that. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> they seen what I went through. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Listen to me. They seen. What I, I went witnessed. Through. I witnessed him being clean, yes. clean. I I was that's there. Yeah, See you tomorrow. Sure I don't, my mouth's open. Like. Damn, is he going to be back tomorrow? <laughs> I witnessed it. it, man. And, and, and I stood up for it. Yo. Much people talk mad shit. I go, nah, man. Nah, TK's dope. What the fuck right. you talking about? And he could be like, Yo, all these motherfuckers stole my style. I said, they really did they steal his style. Right. They stole it. He knew it was people that took his jokes, <laughs> yep. his style. Yep. They did take it. I don't give a fuck what anybody That's says. Right. They and he sure would, did. And then you see him with NWA in the video with NWA. I go, he's, there he is. Right. Mm. He tells. Jay-Z, 50 Cent. Mm. Cash Money Mill. Yeah. Madonna. Mm. You yeah, know, it's true. Uh, Frankie Beverly and May. True, wow. true. Like, I'm, no comic, and this is, and then I'm out. <laughs> no comic has opened up for as many rap groups that I've opened up for in hip hop ever. I mm. believe all of that. That's true. That's ever. No. Yeah. And, and two, you got to be real fucking hilarious <laughs> yeah. with those crowds. To Ooh. be on them shows. Yeah. One of the greatest things I did on the concert, just a week out of Rikers Island. Damn. You was ready. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm hearing the commercials and for the Rough Rider <laughs> tour at the Rikers, the tour I'm on. <laughs> and I know I got a court date coming. And I'm like, you hoping it, it line let, up? Please let me be out this motherfucker before that shit start. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I got out, <sighs> and I remember being in um, it's, it's somewhere here in Brooklyn. It was a Rough Rider Brooklyn concert. Ten, oh, 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 it was one of these shows. It was a Coliseum something. <laughs> it been Long Island yeah, in Brooklyn. I don't know. No, it have, it probably wasn't in Brooklyn, but no. it's somewhere in New York. Okay. Yeah. And I remember being on stage. People not knowing that I went from a one man cell. To eighteen thousand seater, right? <laughs> like, like I'm excited, but I tell the production guy everything I'm getting ready to do. So well, I'm starting the show off, and I'm talking shit, and the guy knows what I'm about to do. But I'm telling the audience, right. everybody fucks with me. Um, everybody loves me. I got my people from LA that's in the back, but no one knows who they really are. Right. So the show is going on. I forgot yeah. who was the Rough Riders and everybody doing their thing. Now Cash Money is getting ready to come up. Yeah. So right before they come on, I say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you all motherfucking now. I don't got them rolling. I got them in the palm of my hand. And I said, I told you motherfucking now, everybody fucks with me. Listen, my people stopped by to show me love, and I want y'all to show them man love. Please put your hands together tonight for Dr. Dre, Eminem, and Snoop Dogg. I had the DJ play the beginning of the music. I had the production lights go down, and the crowd went insane. And I walked off stage like them niggas was about to come on. I let them clap and scream for about... Three, four minutes. Wow. I came back on stage. I said, psych. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Cash Money Millionaire. <laughs> it was so good that backstage, baby said, nigga, I really thought the niggas was here. <laughs> and this is, this is my concert. <laughs> he said, I really thought they was here. I, I had everybody show. Are people laughing? Oh, uh, right. they, it was a love hate. Yeah, yeah. They, oh, oh, fuck you, TK. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. That's fucked up. It was that type of thing. <laughs> Classic moment. <laughs> Classic moment. But you used to say, and you know, there's not one of these. You did some restaurant where it has six, five million. You did some restaurant, and where oh, I, um, um, it's um, make it's laugh huge. Laughaholics. Laughaholics. It's millions in the millions, Five, and 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 you because TK would literally say stuff to dudes like he goes like yo my man yeah see I could sell you say you corny you yeah you don't know how to dress right, right. he'll I'm say shit I'll right. be like this damn he because, go yeah. he's like because yo yo you whack you right. know you probably don't get no pussy no nothing right, right. I'm not trying to be mean I'm like you you, you just you're insulted being mean. the guy yeah yeah yeah, he, yeah, would, yeah. he would do shit yeah. like that watch them and and I, and I, like I said I, I try 
I just try to give young motherfuckers game, like the beautiful woman that you got as producer. I've been sitting here for the last 20 minutes. How can I holler at her, right? <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn, I'm, I'm gonna talk to him real shit. So that bitch fine than a motherfucker, right? Like, <laughs> like how Wait can I? What does bitch stand for? Beautiful, intelligent, tantalizing, charming, and horny all, all the time. Time. <laughs> time. You know, so I'm watching her, I'm like, man, ain't nobody holler. This is what I'm saying to myself. Like, ain't nobody. Then I'm thinking the white guy might be smooth because they in the booth together. <laughs> Dog, you know got, what I'm saying? He, he got his lady. Yeah, but he still can I be. I am smooth as fuck, though. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. You picked up on it. He does yeah, got yeah, that. Yeah, he yeah. got that conquistador mustache. Right. And see, and, 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 and when you get to the love I am now, it's a whole different thing. So I got the house, but I don't bring women to the house no more. Wow. Mm. I bring them to assisted living. Bitches got to sign in at the desk. <laughs> When I come, when I go out the car and get them, <laughs> I'm like, hey, put your name down here. <laughs> it's on the clipboard. You eating lunch on a tray? Yeah, like, like, take them around, meet the staff. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking great. You know, Susan, come here for a minute. Yo, can we record him saying, I'm the uh, homeowner's? <laughs> Yeah, can we record that as that a soundbite? Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Ready? Okay. Can we get it? Go on. I'm president of the Homeowners Association. <laughs> <laughs> Godfrey, I love you. Same, brother. Listen, I really love you, dog. Same too, man. I love you, dog. Thank you, man. Yes, yo. Thank you. You know thank that. You. Hell yeah. You know that, yo. Hell Dante, yeah. thank you for toning it down. <laughs> <laughs> anything for you. Anything. I appreciate you toning it down. I did not want to go over there thinking about you, that day. <laughs> you know, that was, that was going to be on my mind all night. I'm like, I can't sleep. Dante. 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 Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Dante's alright. <laughs> Dante's okay. Dante's okay. <laughs> oh. Because you know Dante. Yeah, and you know this is. <laughs> and that was telling. And that was telling. And that was telling. The bracelets, the rings. You know the end of I'm knocking motherfuckers out. I'm gone. <laughs> no one saw me. I'm gone. <laughs> Dante, why are you so loud? <laughs> <laughs> T to the motherfucking K. Hey. Tommy T's this weekend. I'm out. Tommy T's in the Bay Area, Pleasanton, California. Come see TK. Buy tickets right now. Now you with the guard. I say you with the guard free. Now you with the guard. I say you with the guard free. He ain't playing around with none of these lanes, but I guarantee you'll be entertained and watch him drop some knowledge on your brain.